In this problem, we want to find the zeros for each polynomial function. So let's start off there. We got uh, f of x is equal to x to the fourth plus x to the third minus 6x squared. Now to find the zeros means you set it equal to zero and you solve it. So we got x to the fourth plus x to the third minus 6x squared equal to zero. First thing I'll do is factor out to GCF. They all have an x squared in common. And that leaves us x squared plus x minus 6 equal to zero. Now what's inside the parentheses is the PSD method because it's x squared, x, no x, no number in front of our x squared. PSD, take a number at the end, ignoring the signs. So we'll take the 6 and we're going to create our three columns. P is all the products that give us 6. So 1 times 6, 2 times 3. The S column, add these together, sum them. 1 plus 6 is 7, 2 plus 3 is 5. Difference column, subtract them, smaller from larger. 6 minus 1 is 5, 3 minus 2 is 1. Number we're looking for is a number in our middle term, which is 1, which is right here, which means you will use 2 and 3. The x squared just carries down, and we'll have x, 2, and x, 3. Now our larger num number in the p column that we're using, which is a 3, is always going to be the same sign as the middle term, which is positive. Number we circles in the difference column, D for different signs, it means one will be positive, one will be negative. Since the 3 is positive, then the 2 has to be negative. Okay. Zero factor property. You get 0 on one side, you factor the other side, you set each factor equal to 0. So I'll set x equal to 0, x minus 2 equal to 0, and x plus 3 is equal to 0. So we get x is equal to 0, 2, and negative 3. And those are our zeros. Now our multiplicity. If I were to put powers on these, this one already has a second power, but this one I'd put a first power, this one I'd put a first. So our multiplicity for the x equals 0 would be 2. For x equals 2 would be 1. And for x equals negative 3 would be 1. So it's whatever your exponents are up here. Now touches or crosses. Since he, that multiplicity here is 2, that means it touches. And these are both 1, so that means they cross. And those are our answers.